Hello, hello my gods and goddesses and welcome back to another video. So today, uh, I'm going to use Haven as uh, my host on my Goddess Speaks video. So we're going to be talking about um, uh, colorism and racism and sexism being an illusion. And what this topic came up is when, you know, I was scrolling <sighs> through YouTube and I heard about this beauty guru um, that made a video claiming that colorism is an illusion. So I was really wondering why I'm like, oh, um, okay. Why does she feel like it's an illusion? So here, I was like, here, let me just click on this video and let's see what she's talking about. So <clears throat> she has said that, um, that, you know, what people are experiencing, like colorism and stuff like that, all that other things are just illusions that are in our minds that people have like created, like quote unquote created. And I would have to sit up here and I'm going to have to disagree with her because if they were really illusions as she claims that they are they would not exist in our real world today they would not exist now and i believe the title was very clickbait because when you put colorism is an illusion and put other things like racism and sexism is just illusions um you're gonna attract the wrong type of audience um i feel like what she said was really uh really dangerous so let me tell you guys about the definition of the word illusion illusion a thing that is or is likely to be wrongly perceived or interpreted by the senses so basically illusions you know, in my words, means that something that doesn't exist, something that's made up. I think instead of her using illusion, she should have used social constructs because I think that's exactly what she was trying to say, social constructs. And yes, um, I did agree with her when she said that, you know, all sexism and racism and other isms are social constructs. I agree with her on that. I do because these things are made up by society but the thing that I really do not agree with her on is that she just says like everything is an illusion and we shouldn't be bothered by it we shouldn't be talking about it and I want to um give you let you guys hear a clip from her video before she deleted it because it's not up anymore of her saying that dark-skinned women or brown-skinned girls or both who speak up against colorism is allowing uh people to be more colorist it's, it's like it's like and according to her it's like the more we speak out like the more people tend to be colorist. I'll let y'all hear the clip. Violence is still a very effective way for people to gain power and control over other people. We can't control these people by actually shackling them up and putting them in chains. So let's just make sure that they're always angry. Let's let's get them riled up. Like let's get them let's get them upset because that believe it or not still makes you controllable. Like it's still keeping you exactly where they want you to be. Okay, listen, um, I'm all for, you know, people thinking how the way they want to think, because at the end of the day, people just think differently. 
And, you know, not everybody experiences the same things other people have experienced, and that's okay. That's fine. Because, you know, everybody's experience is different, not everybody's experience is the same. And I believe that, you know, difference of mindsets are very good for society because you know where are people be with this just like the same mindset but um this <laughs> this third eye matrix type thinking that she has like i told y'all i'm all for people you know this is what you believe it is what it is but this ain't it <laughs> this is just not it at all like her approach is just oh let's just stop talking about it's literally like the same thing but she just worded it intellectually or like on a like on a matrix twilight zone thinking level where like oh it's just another phrase of oh let's just stop talking about it that's how i interpret it it's like oh let's just get them riled up let's just have them keep talking and keep doing like i'm sorry if we still have that same mindset that she had I'm sorry, like not speaking on something is not going to get you anywhere in life, not speaking on issues that are affecting people, these social constructs that are affecting people in everyday life, that doesn't do any good when you don't speak up. Like my mom always said, closed mouths don't get fed. You're not going to get anywhere in society just ignoring stuff. Because, you know, that's how it manifests and that's how it gets worse. So it's like her conclusion is, it's like if we just stop talking about it, if we just don't speak up about it, you know, if we just don't, you know, say anything, it'll just go away. And, you know, let's just let people just say what they feel and say how they are. But I'm just like, but that doesn't help anything. It's like you're helping the problem you're not stopping and just saying let's just stop talking about it that's not how issues get solved issues have never gotten solved in everyday life just ignoring an issue just ignoring a problem that doesn't solve anything just by ignoring something that is really reality in our society and this is how people think and for her to just say, hey, you know, what you're experiencing is just an illusion. So let's just stop talking about it. It'll go away. Like, there there are people who do live in a bubble just like her. And it's like, for her to have such a really huge audience, a really big audience, and for her to say that on her pub public platform like that without doing any research or any um or given any like information like that is that is not good at all like do you if she would have kept that video up do you know how many people would have taken her video and ran with it and used it against people who are speaking up against racism colorism sexism all the other isms and would have taken that video ran with it and used it against the people or 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 speaking against and fighting against all the isms i just said and would have said hey you know this girl says that you know sexism don't exist oh this girl said racism colorism that doesn't exist so you guys are the issue and it's not us and in my opinion you know but you guys know how i am like if that's how you truly feel there is no reason for you to take down the video and I still believe it does make you look like a coward for taking down a video when she clearly said in her video everybody's free to disagree and and disagree with her. What really made me lose like half of my respect for her is she not only she deleted the video she started deleting comments of people on her IG like literally just being in like intellectually just disagreeing with her and she was just deleting people's comments who were intellectually disagreeing with her and i'm just like it's obviously you don't want to learn it's obviously you kind of really don't care you like to live in your own ignorant little bubble 
and you want to be a coward and delete videos and, and people's comments just for intellectually disagreeing with you, just for doing it in a respectful manner. Nobody wasn't calling her out her name. Nobody wasn't, you know, you know, speaking, uh, you know, very ill of her and stuff like that. I think it's just very irresponsible for her to say, oh, if we stop talking about this stuff, it'll go away. And she acts like dark skin or brown skin girls like me who speak up against it is just giving colorists more ammo to be colorists and that is not true that that's not true at all um and then there was another clip that she put out that she acts like you know people who talk about colorism racism or any other isms that are in this world or that are in society basically what she's trying to say is that if we speak about these things that we're angry and we don't know how to let go and we're consumed by the stuff that we are talking about let me, let me i'm gonna let y'all hear the clip remaining in that state of anger they're remaining in the states of the negative emotions brought about from colorism and racism um, remaining in those states isn't allowing them to create the lives that they want for themselves and that is a part of that's a part of the, the illusion my favorite example of this is oprah because oprah is a dark-skinned african-american woman who grew up in mississippi which is like literally the most racist place in the fucking world like mississippi is the most racist place in the entire universe like it's really bad it's really really bad there so if someone like oprah who by societal standards has everything going against her has still been able to become oprah it's because she's decided like none of that stuff is going to happen like none of this is mine none of these issues are a part of my reality listen look all right nobody's forcing you to listen nobody's forcing you to you know talk about these issues no one's forcing you to if you don't want to talk about these issues that is fine that's fine i have no problem with that you don't want to talk about these issues if you don't want to listen to these issues then click off nobody's forcing you to listen nobody's forcing you to talk about it but what i do not like is how other people such as this beauty influencer try to tell women like me that me talking about it means I'm angry. And I'm just like, hmm, I'm angry for talking about it. But you know what? I think people haven't talked about it enough. I think we need to shake the table a little bit. Because me talking about it doesn't make me angry, boo. It it just doesn't. It doesn't make me angry. Because I live my best life when I'm off of YouTube. Okay? I don't let none of the isms affect me in my everyday life. I hardly don't even discuss none of this stuff when I'm off of YouTube. Because I live my best life. I'm not saying this stuff doesn't happen in my everyday life. Because sometimes it does happen. But I'm just saying now, honey, look, us talking about colorism and all the other isms don't make us angry. I think and, and people act like we need to stop shaking the table. No, I think the table need to be shook some more. We need to shake the table a little bit more because I don't think people are hearing us. I think people just want to live in, in a bubble. And I'm sorry if if we had her same mindset then women would not be able to be going to college and getting jobs and getting degrees. If we had her same mindset, black people would still be sitting in the back of the bus, still sitting in segregated restaurants and movie theaters. If we all had her same mindset, then uh, dark skin and brown skin girls would not be trying to fight against colorism for their image to be seen in the media instead of a stereotype image of a black woman that's what we're fighting against that's what black women like me i, I want to fight against all them stereotypes especially those really bad images of black women that's shown in the media literally almost all the time all the time you might get a few feminine black women here and there but most of the time when they show black women in the media 
they're pretty much stereotypes. That's why black women like me are fighting against stereotypes and images like that. Black women deserve to be seen as feminine. We deserve to be seen as beautiful, just like any other woman. Just like any other woman, okay? Every race of women should be able to be uplifted. But sadly, that's not how the world works, hon. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. All these quote-unquote illusions she's saying, I mean... There are social constructs, but if you perpetuate these social constructs onto society, onto people in reality, it's no longer an illusion. Now it's reality that has been formed. It's been now it's reality that came from a social construct. What she says is an illusion and has been placed in everyday life. That's what I don't understand. And people speaking about it doesn't make people angry. Just because you feel something isn't as deep as it is, doesn't mean you have the right to dismiss everyone else's experiences and feelings about the subject because you, as an individual, do not face that on an individual level. That's what I do not understand. That's what I don't get. Like, it's... You can live in your own individual reality. You can create your reality how the way you want to, hun. But, no, nah, this ain't it for me. This ain't it. I'm so, I am sorry that she, that you can't handle the conversation because you, you, you as an individual do not experience it. I'm sorry, but... Me and other black women, we're not going to shut up. We're not going to be quiet. We're not going to stop talking about it because it makes people uncomfortable. And the more we push back and fight against all the other isms, the more people have less power. Because if we fight against it and push back, they don't have any power over us. You have no power over me. Trust, okay? And not saying anything, not doing anything, that doesn't solve the issue. You're, you are complacent by not speaking up, by not saying anything. And what I do not understand is that why would she feel like, in her mind, these are illusions when there have been other dark-skinned girls in different communities who have spoken up about colorism in their country from Asia from India, from to the USA, to the Dominican Republic, to Afro-Latinos, all that. Because I did a project on colorism a while ago, and I used so many examples, and I probably will find it, hopefully I can find it, that I broke it down from slavery all the way up until now. And there was an old children's poem rhyme that involves in colorism. And there are Afro-Latinas and Af Latinos who have made a video speaking up against the colorist issues in their community and how their parents basically consume them into thinking that lighter skin is better, okay? An Afro-Latino man basically had his, I'm um, basically said in his vi in the video where his mom told him he does not want to see him dating any girl who is dark skinned at all, no black girl or nothing. And he never understood it as a child. And he's like, mom, aren't I black too? Like, why would you not want me to date a girl that has the same skin tone as me? And it is conditioned in certain communities, especially in the Latino community where lighter skin is perceived as better and it's just, it's just better. And they want their great grandchildren and their grandchildren to just look lighter skin. And it's been practicing like that for decades. It has been consumed in communities. It has been practiced and for ages, especially in the Asian community. There's, there are Asian, the colorism in the Asian community is so bad. And guys, I'm going to be linking videos telling of girls and their experiences 
with colorism in their communities, from Asians to Indians to Afro-Latinos, all that. Okay, I'm gonna link all that because this whole thing that, oh, if we just stop talking about this stuff, it's just gonna go away. No, that approach has not worked for years and it's not about to work in 2019 and so on and so forth, okay? If you as an individual do not experience none of these, that's good, that's great. But don't tell other people who have experienced this that they are making it up, that's all in their heads. It's not real because you're not doing nothing but to be complacent in the situation. You're not solving it by saying, stop talking about it. I know there are black people who do not experience the same issues like I do, and that's fine. But what I do not like is how certain people, especially people in my own community, want to sit up here and say, hey, listen, you know, since I didn't suffer through this, you, you, I didn't suffer through this, so it's not real. So what I need you to do is stop talking about it because it makes me uncomfortable. No, I'm not going to stop talking about certain issues because people want to be butthurt and offended. It's not my fault. You can't handle the conversation. So hopefully she learns her lesson from this and she hears other people out from their point of view instead of just ignoring it because it doesn't make any sense. Like, this girl is just so naive. I mean, I mean, she, uh, she kind of meant well. Like, she probably was, like, coming from, like, a place of, like, you know, some spiritual reality type stuff. But she's just too naive for me. Like, I cannot stand people like her who say, like, the most ignorant stuff. Like, she lives in this little tiny bubble. You don't like she doesn't have the range to discuss things like this. And if you don't do your research and if you come into folks comment section or you make a video saying ignorant stuff, like, I'm sorry, like you people always talk about freedom of speech. Well, people have the freedom to respond back to what you said. She doesn't need to stick to her to her beauty videos and speak on less complicated stuff. I mean, like. Not, not to be mean, but I'm trying to be mean. She she just sounded ignorant. She just sounded really uneducated. I'm sorry if this video was really, really long, but these, these illusions are not going to go away simply just not saying nothing. These social constructs, they're not going to go away just not saying nothing because that never solved anything. Not speaking on stuff doesn't solve stuff. So that Oprah comparison that she did, that wasn't fair. Because there's plenty of black women who are successful and they still speak on colorism. Lapita Leongo, Oprah even spoken on colorism and racism. Lapita, Gabrielle Union, uh, Tamika Sumter, any black woman who has successful has spoken on colorism. Even black women on YouTube like Jackie Ina. Jackie Ina has speaking up on colorism plenty of times and she is successful. Just because you're successful does not mean that this stuff, like the stuff surrounding you don't mean you can't speak on it. Or if you experienced it yourself, you can speak on it. Okay, being successful doesn't make stuff go away. Especially women who are successful and they still speak on sexism that still exists. So I'm sorry, hun, this ain't it. What do y'all think of the comment section? Let me know your uh, comments down below. What do you guys think about this? I'm sorry if this... Probably it's like the longest video I've ever made because I had to do this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, my goddesses, and have a wonderful day.